Today, let's take a look at RoboCam. So RoboCam from AJA is a 4K block camera. It has an HD base T connection. So it means a single cable will supply you the signal and the power for the camera and all the control commands. And it can be controlled by Visca. And as you may know, we have a lot of um, robotic camera control products like uh, the PTC Fly. And the PTC Fly can be used to adjust parameters in the RoboCam. But the RoboCam itself is not a, a pan tilt zoom camera. You have no pan and tilt in the camera. It's only the zoom inside. So what we'll show in this video is how you can control the electronic pan zoom inside the RoboCam. And we will also get into details about parameters like you can adjust iris and and uh, shutter speed and so forth. And we'll also take a look at label presets, which is a really powerful feature of all our robotic camera uh, controllers. And um, then, of course, I'll show you how we can pack a lot of punch into such a small device as the PTC Fly with five menu levels that give you access to all the parameters you need to adjust. So uh, get ready. We'll show you how the RoboCam can be controlled by the PTC Fly. First, let's take a look at the setup. We have the AJA RoboCam right here, and it's connected by this Cat5e cable over to the base station called Rovo RX SDI. So that converts the HD base T signal to SDI output, which is uh, moved over to a monitor over here so I can see what we are doing. Then we have the RS232 port out of uh, the uh, base station coming over to a Ethernet to serial converter. And it's connected to my network. And on the network, I have the PTC fly. So the PTC fly sends commands over to the Ethernet converter that makes it into serial RS-232 into the base station, going back to the camera to control it. That's the basic setup. Let's take a closer look at the PTC fly now. Let's first look at the menu section. When I press the upper edge on this button, the menu button, I'm cycling through five different menus. The first one is exposure mode, and we can choose between auto, manual, shutter priority, and iris priority. So if I go to manual, you'll see the full range of iris, shutter speed, and gain. I can set those. I can change the iris so you see the immediate effect on the picture. I can also change the shutter speed and likewise, as you would expect. And these value ranges are taken out of the manual for the AJA RoboCam. So we have exactly the shutter speed supported by the camera and uh, not just a generic list of values. If I go to the next menu, I have white balance mode. It's in auto, but I can change it to indoor, outdoor, one push white balance, automatic tracking and manual white balance where I have access to red and, and blue gain parameters which uh, I can use to paint the picture. I'll now put it back to auto and go to the next menu where we see exposure compensation. And now this is, is uh, blanked out because I'm currently in manual exposure mode. So if I go back to auto, you'll see that, um, and then I, I could actually move the picture a little bit so we can see this, the flower. So there you saw a little bit of electronic pan tilt. Now we have exposure compensation mode enabled and I can now turn down the exposure a little bit so I have a more realistic color on my flower right there. Yes, and then I go to the next menu. We have focus mode. We have one push uh, focus. Um, it's currently in auto, but if I put it in manual, I have access to triggering um, focus, uh, one push uh, focus right there. We have a limiter for PTC speed, pan tilt speed. And then finally, we get to the section with the um, electronic pan position and electronic tilt position, and then putting, uh, enabling and disabling electronic pan tilt on and off. Now, the joystick over here is, uh, of course, using the, um, the optical zoom of the camera, as you can see. And then if I'm moving the encoders, you can see I'm able to adjust the position of the pan tilt, um, yeah, the pan tilt position. So basically, the pan tilt position we are talking about here is a crop out from the larger picture. So the, the 4K image from the RoboCam is really just uh, delivered as a region of interest when we are using the pan tilt, uh, or electronic pan tilt function in the camera. And uh, that's what we see. We can adjust it with these encoders. We can do it in coarser steps if we want, but we can also use the joystick to move this picture around. And you can see that these, um, the pulses that we are 
oh sorry, the, the, the joystick basically does the same as we see on the encoders. So on the encoders, you can see this, this value is changing as I'm using the joystick. So the movement is not super smooth, and that's not to be expected really from this because it is not an actual pan tilt camera. We are just moving a region of interest around. So what you can use it for is essentially to um, to, to make those those uh, crop outs of the larger image and uh, deliver over. But you have um, optical zoom in the joystick. And now let's take a look at the presets section. So if we go to the presets, we see presets one through five. And then as I push here, we have uh, six to 10 and we have 11 to 15. Now there's one thing I want to show you, which is the label presets that we have in Skyhoy Control. So I'm just going to reach over for a USB cable. Just a moment. Mm, there we go. Now. This USB cable will allow me to easily access the web interface of the device. And when I say easily, it's because on my laptop, I now see the controller pop up and I can press local configuration. So it's going to ask the controller, what is your IP address? And then the controller tells me that in return. And now it opens the web browser. And inside this web browser, I can adjust the, um, uh, the internal parameters of the controller. So. Unfortunately, it's not on the network, so I just, I'll just run over and plug it in. Okay, I'm back. And now the web interface is up. So, great, I can now, um, I can configure all kinds of things about the PTC Fly right here, but I'm not gonna change the mapping of functions on the joystick and so forth. But anyway, if you want, if I press this one, you can see that it's assigned to RovoCam zoom operations. And there you see all the other commands that we have access to in the camera. Now, the, the, the features I wanted to show you are the labels. So you can see I have typed in labels here, preset one, and I wanna call it something different. So close, up a flower this is um distance this is a uh, overview and something else um okay okay and another preset so i save these and now what you should should look out for if we go to preset one through five, let's just go back so you can see it. We are one through five, and now I'm going to press the save button, and you see immediately as this is saved, those labels are updated in the display, and this is really, really cool. It's something you find on all our PTC integrations that presets can have labels shown in the displays, so the operator will instantly know or easily know what the presets um, will recall, which position, and so on. So this was the, the RoboCam, uh, all parameters uh, controlled by the PTC Fly. We have access to zooming on the internal optical zoom, and we can also move the picture around with the electronic pan tilt function in the camera. <laughs>